generator using bobbins which are used in sieving machines we will use these bobbins and over these bobbins we will rotate maximum number of, of turns of insulated copper wire and connect the ends and see whether free energy generation can be possible or not for this we will use the magnet the dc motor and all so we can start making the windings over these uh, uh, bobbins and see whether emf will be generated or not we will take the insulated copper wire leave little bit end and start uh, twisting the um, insulated copper wire over this bobbin for uh, maximum number of turns so we will be rotating maximum number of turns over this bobbin so that we can get maximum emf through this coil when magnet rotate in between these coils so we have rotated maximum number of turns over this bobbin so the ends of the coil are cut we will cut the ends and we have two points for the bobbin cut it equally so one we have completed again we will take another one and complete it so we will leave little bit for the point and start making a coil over this bobbin so again we will take another bobbin and complete the winding so that maximum turn we can make over this bobbin So we have completed the two bobbins, winding over the bobbin of two point. Now cut it according to the requirement. So we have two bobbins which are completed with the windings, one and this one. another two twist it so that it can be tightly held over this so we have completed this after completion we will mount this round magnet over the dc motor shaft and see that it is free to rotate once it is been done now we will fix this dc motor over the board with the help of a screw tightly fix the motor on the board once the motor is fixed now fix this two bobbins in front of the magnet so that maximum flux will link with the coil 
so we have to fix two screws in order to mount these uh, two points over the either side of the magnet So after fixing the screws, next we will connect the bobbin in such a way mount the bobbin on the either side of the so we will fix the bobbin with the help of a copper wire in front of the magnet with the copper wire, insulated copper wire to fix it with the base of the screw. So once it is been fixed, next again we will take another point and fix it on the other side of the magnet. Held it with the screw and twist the wire so that it can be properly held on the either side of the magnet. Once both are connected, now we will fix the two points together and solder it. Remove the insulation of both the wires. with a solder wire Once it has been done, next remove the insulation of the two points of the coil.
the connection will be done. Connect the terminals to the two ends of the coil. the other terminal to the once both the terminals have been connected properly next we will connect the <coughs> terminals Remove the insulation. Connect with the fire forward by that and a filter capacitor. The power bias it connected. I connect the another terminal to the other point. So we have connected. Now connect the filter capacitor to the two points. After connecting the filter capacitor, now we will connect the ends of the motor to the two endings of the output of the coil. So we have completed the experiment here. Now we will give the turb to the magnet and see whether the EMF will be generated in the coil or not. So we can give a turb and see whether EMF will be generated or not. and it starts to rotate in between the coil 
and we'll check with the pulp whether EMF is generated or not.